Hey, good morning, world. I'm out here <clears throat> kind of early waiting for my windshield to thaw out so I can go down to the lumber yard. I just got off the phone with a fellow over at the lumber yard and I asked him how much he'd get for some boarding boards, you know, to go up on the side of my shed back there, some hemlock. And he said he's got some hemlock 1x8s for 24 cents a foot. That figures out to about a dollar ninety a board. That figures out if I bought 50 boards, which is enough to do the two sides I want to do and have plenty left over for that top part. About 80 bucks. That's pretty good. I don't think I could. I don't think I can match a deal like that anywhere in the universe. And uh, I guess he's kind of got them on sale right now because they've cut up a bunch of them. So I'm gonna get myself right on over there and buy me up some of them because. Heck, later on when I get back from heading down south, they might be all sold out and price might have gone up. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm out to fetch some lumber to close in my little shed there. I might even get some of that done this weekend. Wouldn't that be sweet? I love that. That would be awesome. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring y'all along because, you know, it's a lot more exciting to ride along with me than it is to watch some of 63 Impaler's old boarding videos and all. So I figured I'd kind of give you guys some relief because I know you're pretty, you're probably pretty bored there. Anyway, see you in a bit. Looks to me like today is going to be a fine looking day, uh, and I'm altogether happy about that. <clears throat> I love to have a day off. I don't think I need to say anymore. I started to say I love to have a day off when the weather's nice, but you know I love to have a day off when the weather ain't nice. <laughs> Any old day off works a good day for me. Anyway, I'm headed over to the lumber yard there, getting me some lumber. I just thought I'd uh, share the ride with y'all a little bit. Alrighty then, let's go see what kind of treasures we can find out here at the local lumber yard today. Wee doggies, look at all the trees. That's the way you do it right there. <laughs> I feel pretty lucky to live up here and have me a big old lumber yard like this to get my lumber out of. Fresh off the vine, I guess you could say. Yes, sir. Okay then, we got our lumber. There it sits back there in the back of the truck. That's 58 foot one by eight. After taxes and everything came out to a flat hundred bucks. That's uh, that's good, because that's enough to, uh, I think, close in my whole shed. And uh, I really want to do that before snow comes. I, in fact, I really want to close it in and put stuff in it that won't you know, I don't, I don't want my stuff to be sitting around buried in the snow. And when I say stuff, I'm talking about a lot of junk, really. But junk buried in the snow ain't much fun in the wintertime, you know, because it's all out there for you to fall over and trip over. You can't plow around it and all that fun stuff. So I was thinking, well, if I can get me some walls up, I can put my junk under cover. And when I get home with that new John Deere lawn tractor of my dad's, I have a safe place to stick it in and out of the weather. And uh, I got some windows to go in that building, but I'm, I'm thinking I might just go home and slam these boards up on the side of it and then come back later and cut holes in it and throw the windows in place, you know, because, heck, I could surely do that. That wouldn't be that much trouble, especially, you know, after I had everything up uh, up out of the dirt and all. So, anyway, that's what I'm thinking about today. I, there's a lot of things on my list of things to do today, and I don't know how much of it's going to allow me to be shed building, you know, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Nice out here this morning. There's a little bit of lakeage over there in the field. I thought I'd just share that with y'all. There's some more lakeage over there. Just thought I'd share that with y'all. There's a little bit of swampage over on that side of the road. That could be lakeage, except there's too much dirt in there. Y'all probably already know about all that tell by the dead trees that it used to be. It used to be more dirt than the swamp, but the water sort of took over, I think. Probably some of that global warming from all them tin cans up in the ozone. 